on my way to catch up with another friend who I met at the Tony Robbins event. His name's Warren and he's actually another vlogger himself. So I am here at Rongaroo just out and about. We're going to be talking about collaboration. So stay tuned guys. It's going to be a fun, exhilarating, fun, energized conversation. I told you guys that I was going to meet Warren, so this is Warren Warren from Life Design. <laughs> yep. Your Life Design. <laughs> Your Life Design. So we're here today and we're just going to catch up and talk about collaboration. So welcome to my channel. Thank you. And it's really great fun. to be here. We, we actually met at the Tony Robbins UPW Unleashed Power Within. That was a couple of months ago now. Yeah, back in September. It was and amazing. <laughs> I saw Fong and she was carrying this camera along and I just thought, Hey, you know, what, what, what's that for? You, it looks like you do what I do. And she's like, yeah, I'm a vlogger. Way, me too, yeah. <laughs> and that's how we connected. Yeah, that's Yay! it. <laughs> it's a connection. And we both said, let's catch up and let's do vlogging together. Yeah. And this is where we're starting right now. Let's collab. Collab. And that's what we're going to be talking about this session. Yeah. And I am so grateful that you're actually here and we get to talk about this topic and and see where we can actually go with this because collaborating is such an important part of our community. Absolutely, yeah. It's um it, it's funny it, when I think about my old mindset, you know, a year, two years, three years ago, I used to think Oh, what's the point in networking? What's the point in collaborating? Oh, I, I don't need to do that stuff. I can do everything I need to do. Man, as I get older, I just realize it is so important to collaborate. It is so important to get out there, to share experiences with people, to learn from other people, uh, and to network. Uh, I know that we're not really talking about networking, but collaborating is just kind of hand in hand with it. And yeah, so, so important. So important to grow, to learn, to meet new people, just, I think that outward approach to to life is so much more important than being closed and not wanting to collaborate and not wanting to meet new people. Well, I just only see the growth is actually getting outside of your box. Yeah. And I believe, and I would have said this in my vlogs, is the more people you meet, your world just gets bigger. Big time. Yeah. Yeah, exponentially. Exponentially. Now, Warren missed out on a big catch up. We there was a group meet up vlogging meetup actually at um, downtown here in the city and I met and I'll actually insert that down in the comments below as well a link to that vlog night and I actually got to meet other vloggers who were sharing their video they were vlogging on the night as well and they were telling me what their stories were and what I've done from that was actually created a group and Warren is part of that group now and we share different ideas we talk about SEO, we yeah. talk about um, how to increase our view viewers and likes and comments. What are they doing different to what I'm doing and things like that. So yeah, and it's it's what I think is, that I think that, that forum and that group of people that we are now connected with, thankfully, um, is just quintessential importance of collaborating and, and just speaking to other people because uh, with today's technology, you know, you all get on WhatsApp together or Messenger or whatever it is and people just go, oh yeah, did you hear about this? Oh, did you hear about that? Bang, 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 bang. All of a sudden you've got this long thread of all these fantastic ideas and fantastic resources that you may never have stumbled across and yeah, you just learn so much so quickly. Uh, I think collaborating in that sense is, yeah, well, in that group has been invaluable. Uh, yeah, I look forward to meeting everyone. If you guys are out there watching, I look forward to meeting you all. Yes, no, if you guys are vlogging out there and you guys are on your own, please join us. Yeah. Because we, we invite everybody. We want to hear your story. We want to know what you guys are doing. And if we can help you guys improve on your SEO or whatever it is to help you start a vlog or how to build a network, we're happy to, to share our knowledge. and. You know, with vlogging, how did you find your vlogging journey so far? Uh, yeah, so it's 
Yeah, good. It's, it's fun. I just love sharing what I'm sharing. That's the main thing. If I didn't, if I wasn't passionate, I, I share um, self-development and tips, tricks, recipes, whatever about healthy eating, healthy food. And I just love, I love those two things. I only discovered self-development, uh, I don't know, a year, a year and a half, two years ago. And man, it has totally changed my life, totally changed my world. And I love sharing that. And I love the thought that I might be able to have an impact on someone's life uh, the, the, the same way that my journey of self-development has had on me. So uh, just that thought. And in fact, one of the most awesome thing I'm, I'm sure you've discovered it too is that when people start to reach out back to you and start to say hey you know I'm from the other side of the world uh, I, I saw this video of yours I love that concept blah 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 it's just that is just magic uh, that is, is one of the best things that can possibly happen to you as a vlogger I feel because it, it lets you know that someone out there is getting something from your content. Uh, you know, have you had any experiences yeah, no, about that? I, absolutely. We were just talking about social media before as well. And I do get comments on YouTube. I get comments on Instagram and on Facebook. And you're building a community. You're building a place where people can feel safe. Yeah. And they can connect with you and go, Warren, I totally understand. I'm not alone in this. You understand, and I feel what you feel, and it's about you being vulnerable, yeah. but also sharing the knowledge. Because I would be doing a disservice to my community if I did not share my knowledge to, to the people around me. And if I can, and my whole aim is to empower millions of people by touching one heart at a time, or hundreds of thousands of hearts at a time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it, we're we're going through a spiritual revolution. Yeah. That's how I feel. But I'm all about collaborating and. You know, for you to do what you do, I want to acknowledge that because, you know, it's, it's, this is camera right here. People are so scared to be kept behind yeah, the camera yeah, and, and to enough. spread that message. Yeah. And to be honest, I was too. Yeah. <laughs> if you watch my first videos and you probably feel oh, the same, yeah. you're feeling uncomfortable in this sort you of You film it and you say, oh, <laughs> am I really posting this? Oh, man. But you know what? Your audience are watching you. They've watched you from the beginning and yeah. they watch your whole birth and go, wow, Warren, you've got to change. Yeah. And now you're, like, I've watched some of your videos, you're meeting people and you're interviewing them and you're literally collaborating so there are advantages and what advantages do you see in collaboration? Yeah well that, that's, that's a, um, a good point for bringing the interviews that I've done because these people actually I heard someone say not so long ago that reading a book is one of the most amazing things you can do because the person who has written that book has more like more than likely gone out and you know turned every stone gone to done all this research spent years doing it um, they've got this wealth of wisdom this wealth of knowledge that they're throwing into this book um, pouring their heart out into it and, and all their blood sweat and tears and we get to pick it up for a couple of bucks and flip the pages of it and, and take what we want from it that's just an, an amazing resource there that we I think we take for granted somehow and so in collaborating and in interviewing some friends of mine so far um, it's kind of similar similar process a, a similar idea they've got a wealth of knowledge uh, I interviewed my cousin on, on goal setting and um, you know setting effective goals really that, that make you feel like you want to do them and she's just got so much knowledge on goals far far more than I could ever have unless I started committing my life to it and another friend who um, started has been uh, having products made in China and he's just got he's been doing it for seven years now and he's got so much knowledge on manufacturing in China and so to be able to just sit down in front of the camera pick his brains and, and get some uh, facts and some knowledge out of him is just priceless it's and, and I, I know that it's going out there and helping people on their journey to manufacture in China or to set goals for themselves or you know whatever the topic may be that I'm interviewing people on so it's it's so powerful super powerful yeah so it's um yeah it's, it's great I love it yeah no I I have to recommend if you are questioning about certain things you don't know what to do when you collaborate and you join with somebody else who are on a similar journey or more advanced in that particular field being in proximity with these people are just really important because yeah your book is just you know you've got a few chapters I mean you meet more people your book just gets 
bigger. Yeah, bigger and bigger. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and richer. Yeah, richer. Yeah. Richer in knowledge, richer in friendship. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even more prosperity too. Uh, yeah, anyway. and wealth. <laughs> and wealth. <laughs> absolutely. So, wait, so, what got you into blogging? Yeah, what got me into um, I suppose I had been following some vloggers and some people that were sharing their stories and sharing their self-development and all that sort of stuff and uh, I could see, I suppose it, it, ultimately it goes back to trying to get out of the corporate machine. That, that's the ultimate purpose and the ultimate driver um, and I see getting on uh, on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever channels as a great means to share some concepts, to build a community and see where it goes. Uh, this world of technology has got so many opportunities and we're so lucky to be in this, this um, digital era. Yes, it can be a curse sometimes as well, but if you embrace it and, and use it and um, you know, produce some content and share some thoughts and collaborate with some people, uh, you know, it can be so powerful, incredibly powerful. And so, yeah, to answer your question, it all comes back to trying to escape the corporate. Um, the cor sorry, I think I might have just spat all over you. Um, cor <laughs> trying to escape the, the corporate grind for me. Okay. That's the whole idea. Yeah. Cool. What about you? Me? Oh. In, I, so, as you guys know, I'm going through a personal journey with my life. And deep down in me, something had happened. So, I had awakened this spirit inside me and I had this message that I actually want to share with the world. And in order for me to do that, is actually get behind a camera. I can't, I, I can share my message between you know one, two, three people, but in order to spread my message faster was for me to get behind the camera. And my dream is so big that doing it slowly, I just feel I'm behind. I feel like my life is so short that I need to grow this, grow who I am and help people with depression, with anxiety, um, people who have been in domestic violence. Um, it, it, there is so much that I want to do and I need the people who uh, have high authority out there to collaborate with me, yeah. to network with me, to connect with me and I want to be able to connect with them and be able to share this love that I have deep down that it needs to be shared a, a more of a global scale. Yeah. 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 I mean, in terms of money, you know, it's it will be there. I, I just see that my drive and my why is so big. Yeah. That everything else will fall into place. Mm. So <laughs> I, I I mean, there's a lot of parents out there who are single parents like myself who do want to get out of the rat race, who yeah. do want to live a happy life, and I am waking up happy. I am waking up. You know, so excited and so joyful with life that I just feel that everybody has to feel this yeah. <laughs> energy as well. So <laughs> that explains why I'm at the Tony Robbins. <laughs> Dancing my heart out. <laughs> so yeah, no, that's why I do what I do. Excellent. Yeah. So yeah. I my my aim is to be on radio, which you guys have been watching. I have been on radio. And the big exciting news that you get to hear it, to hear this story yeah. and to share this. So this Friday so tomorrow. Friday, I have a radio interview with a friend of mine which I've invited him to come along. Next week I have another radio interview. But the biggest thing that had happened last week was I've been offered to be the radio host on this channel that I've been the interviewee. So I've been the one who's been interviewed. You'll be the interviewer. I'll be the interviewer now. Ah. So I've been, been sitting in the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> so interviewing other people. So that's so exciting. So as much as I share people and tell people this is my vision, this is my dream, people come to you and go, wow, Paul, I want to be part of this journey and this, my life is starting to unfold. Awesome. And that's why I'm just super excited with the journey that I'm on. And my life has been a roller coaster. Yeah. And whoever is around me is on that same roller coaster too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I'd, I'd like... It was, that's amazing. It, Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. that's awesome. So, with um, with yourself, you're, you've got a big future, you've got massive opportunity ahead. Where do you see yourself in, say, five years' time? Five years, yeah. See, that's, that's I like the, the five years goal. I see in five years, 
uh, I will be totally out of the rat race, so to speak. I'll be out of the corporate world. I'll be living on passive and residual income streams, which I will build up over the space of the next five years. Um, sharing all that along the way. Um, and yeah, I, I suppose ultimately it is, for me, I, I discovered not so long ago, not so long ago that one of my biggest values is freedom. It, it is the need for to be able to make my own choices, to make my own decisions, and to not have to do something every day, which is, I suppose, how I've felt in the corporate world before. Uh, my time and what I earn has been dictated by others, and so for me, the journey is escaping that creating my own journey and so within five years I want to see that come to fruition I want to see that freedom I want to know that I've got that freedom to create for myself whatever it is I want to create at that point in time and it will evolve over the next five years but um, yeah it's, it's a journey and that's that's basically the bulk of it really yeah. Awesome! Yeah. I, I am looking forward to watching your journey. And yours. And it's, yeah, I just, his vlogs, I will put your vlog details down in the comments below and also I'll tag it up on the top. But I'm going to make sure that everybody knows who you are because he, because you do have a message and you're unfolding all this content that it needs to be heard by a, more of a global, wider audience out there. So keep going. Yes. Don't give up. Go us. Go us. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to finish off on this. Yeah. Do you have a quote in mind that you actually want to share? A quote? Uh, yeah, gosh, I've seen some great ones recently. Uh, the pressure of remembering the right one. Uh, actually, one that I've really enjoyed for the last six months, which is, which is strange to say, is I suppose it's been great when I've been frustrated at, at some people in my life uh, and the quote is, you can tell the size of a man, and I, you know, it's an old quote, that hence the man, that you can tell the size of a person by the size of the problem that gets them down. So I suppose in that there is don't let those people who get frustrated easily frustrate you. Be the bigger person. Oh, that, that's what it. I take from it. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What about you? Ah, oh, my, I have so many quotes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of my favourite quotes, which it's to do with starting. You don't have to be great at the start. You just have to be. Yeah, you just have to start in order yeah. to become great. Yeah. And that that just sits in my heart because we have to start a new chapter in our life. Mm. And when something unfolds and it doesn't go your way, you just gotta pick up those pieces, and you're just gonna restart life. No matter how bad it hits you, no matter how how low you get in your life, you just gotta pick yourself back up because I believe. These lessons that we're given are lessons, not that, you know, some of us may call it as failures, mm. risk-taking, but they are lessons, and the universe is showing you, just sharing with you, you're not going the right way. Mm. That's it. You just have to, okay, am I going the right way? What do I do? Go the other way. Let's try it this way. And a lot of us don't try. Yeah. And a lot of us just give up. And I just believe that there's all this is greatness in all of us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's a shame that fear is so prevalent and so strong in us and it's ultimately comes down to conditioning a long long history of conditioning that has built up this fear in expressing ourselves in doing something different in getting beyond our, our circle of um, our comfort zone and yeah it's um, it's a shame but then when something happens and you make the decision and you do something different you feel amazing. You do. You just feel like you're on top of the world. And sure, that only lasts for a little while, but what what is left behind after that experience and after expanding that that zone of comfort is that 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 ring of comfort around you has gotten just a little bit bigger, and then the next time a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger, and that's why they say you become the bigger person. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So talking about fear, you guys know I always say this. Dance with fear, that's the only way to do it because that's your embracing life 
and everything else, the incompletes, the, the challenging stuff, because if you embrace it, it will go with you. If you go against it, you're just going to struggle a lot more. Yeah. So, absolutely. Yeah. But, Warren, thank you so much again for being part of my vlogging journey. Thanks for having me. And I'll definitely put Warren's uh, details down below in the comments for you guys. So, thank you again, guys, for tuning in. And I'm always here to empower your spirit to share your life's gift. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.